In this video, we're going to walk you through the various ways to take advantage of NPM in your Node.js projects. So let's get started. We have a new Express project, and we want to install some packages. I like using the command line interface. So I'm going to right click on the project in Solution Explorer and select Open Command Prompt here. NPM is already in my path. So I'm going to go ahead and run npm install Azure. Wait for the command to complete. Looks like it completed successfully. And it's already reflected in Solution Explorer. But it's actually grayed out. And turns out that's because I forgot to include the dash dash save. This will list it in pa your package.json under dependencies. Looks like npm had an error that time. All right, it worked. And it's no longer grayed out. And if you look at package.json, you can see it's right over here. Azure, anything greater than version 0.9.12. Awesome. But it's kind of annoying to leave Visual Studio every time you want to use NPM. So that's why we actually added a command to the Node.js interactive window. And uh, I prefer to use the quick launch dialog, but you can also navigate to it by going to view other windows, Node.js interactive window or control KN. Let's type dot help to see what commands are available to us. And you'll see that there's actually a new NPM command. So Let's try this out. We'll uninstall azure.npm uninstall azure. Uninstall azure completed successfully. And it's saying that it's missing, which basically what that means is that it's listed in package.json, but it's not actually installed. So we're going to go ahead and delete that line, save, wait for the UI to update. Great. Azure is uninstalled. It's no longer in package.json. I'm going to close that and, you know, I actually, I really like chess and I want to find it a, some chess uh, package. So npm search chess, wait for the command to complete. And I see a lot of packages listed, but you know, it's actually kind of hard to parse and I want to view more details about each one. So for this, I really prefer using a graphical user interface. So we'll open that up and we did that by right clicking on NPM in Solution Explorer and clicking install new NPM packages. We're going to search for chess. Arrow key down into the list. You know, scroll through them real, real quick. This one looks pretty good. I'm going to check out the home page real quick and yep, looks fine. And I'm going to actually change up the options a little bit for this package. I'm going to install it as a dev dependency, just so we can see what that looks like in Solution Explorer. And I'm going to also add some arguments. I want to install an older version. So let's install around version 0.1. Because I don't actually know whether 0.1 itself exists. So install package and you can see that it executed. It's saying that old version 0.1.8 installed locally. And we can actually open up uh, the output if we want to view details, but it doesn't look like there's anything right now. Um, how about, uh, oh, I know, let's try and break it. Let's install version 3.1415 because that's totally going to exist. Install package and yes, last command completed with errors. We can open that up, click on the link as you can see it turned red and yeah, it looks like that version doesn't exist and these are the only versions I can really select from. That's fine. Now, if I wanted, I could, you know, remove this and 
install package and it's just going to install the older, the newer version. Great. Ow. Oh, yeah, I'm actually really fickle about packages, so I'm going to go ahead and uninstall it right now. And you can do that by right clicking on the package and selecting uninstall npm packages. You also have the option of updating the npm packages or installing missing npm packages. And that's in the case that it's listed in package.json, but it's not actually installed yet. We're going to uninstall. It works. Surprise, surprise. Oh, and one more thing. You can actually go and explore all the different package dependencies if you so choose. And this is actually kind of useful if you want to check out things like optional packages or um, <laughs> just learn about new packages. Why not? Well, that about wraps it up for the NPM functionality. We hope you find it useful. Be sure to check out our website or other videos if you want to learn more or leave us some feedback. We always appreciate that. Otherwise, happy package managing.